Rasaya Siluemuthu has fished in the Batikala Lagoon for 43 years. But after weeks of torrential rain and floods, he's having a hard time. An infection called epizootic ulcerative syndrome, or red spot, is spreading among fish in Sri Lanka's second largest lagoon. The condition causes unsightly ulcers. The fish disease has hit Batikalo's lagoon fishermen hard. At a time when every cent counts, consumers are staying away, affecting around 12,000 families, which depend on the lagoon's yield for a living. Scientists say one in every four fish caught in the 168 square kilometer lagoon has the infection. A number of infected fish were caught while we were filming with these fishermen. A drop in salinity and lower water temperatures due to heavy rain and floods are to blame. And red spot won't go away until the water returns to normal, a process that could take as long as two months. The head of the zoology department at the Eastern University says affected fish can be eaten. Even though we have seen the uh, ulcers or the wounds onto the surface, we can able to consume the fish which is good looking rather than having any fear of having the disease. But down at the local market, customers aren't convinced. Even this healthy catch, fresh out of the water, has few takers. There's about a 75% drop in fish consumption and we can't even sell the good fish. We don't take the infected fish, we throw them back. The lagoon has provided a livelihood for generations of Sri Lankan fishermen. Now they must try and survive until the lagoon and the fish on which they depend are free from disease. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Batikalo, Sri Lanka.